Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Firefox on Portainer using Chasm VNC. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, Chasm Web Firefox. It's a standalone version of Firefox that doesn't require the, Ka the Chasm generic to where it has all of it in it. Um, You'll be able to use the real Firefox in it, and you'll be able to surf the web. And they have environment variables. The launch URL is to where it launches a uh, default URL. And then um, the user and password is chasm user. And then I changed it to portainer down here for the password. This is what you'll use to actually log into the VNC. And the container will be listed on 6901. So... That's what will be installed today. So we're going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link on YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to uh, scroll down to, um, to to how to install Chasm Firefox on Portainer right here. And then now I'm going to go to Docker Compose. So version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the one service underneath the service is, is called Firefox. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Firefox. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this and Chasm Web Firefox. And then the Docker image tag is the latest tag currently right now is 114.0 rolling. So, um, and I'm going to set some ports. So 6901 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change this to like 6902. Um, and on the container is 6901. You do not change the container's port. The environment var uh, variable are, are, are the password to log into the VNC, which that's going to be Portainer, like I said. The user is going to be chasm underscore user. And then the launch URL is going to community.bigbeartechworld.com. The shared memory size is, uh, it, the, the allocate uh, is fi 512 megabytes. Um, so I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over my portainer and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my portainer. I'm going to go to local and then stacks. And then I'm going to go up here to add stack. And then I'm going to put the stack name is Firefox uh, stack. And then now what this, uh, what portainer stacks are underneath are Docker Compose. So it's going to be using the Docker engine. So I'm going to come down here to the web editor. I'm going to paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to say deploy the stack. And this is going to download the Docker image off of the uh, the registry, get it extracted, and get it up with Docker Compose underneath. So this can take a bit to actually download the Docker image. So now the stack successfully deployed, and we got it up and running. So I'm going to start on my Portainer stacks. I'm going to show you the stack options in the Portainer UI. So I'm going to go to Firefox stack right here. And then you'll see stacks down here. Uh, you'll, you'll see the actions. So stop the stack, delete the stack, and then create template from the stack. Stack duplication slash migration. You can see the containers running in the stack right here. And you can see the access controls. You can go, go up here to editor and you can change your Docker and pose. And then uh, if this uh, image tag gets updated without cha uh, changing it, you can come down here and you can repull image and redeploy. So that means it repulls that image tag off the registry, gets the local cache updated, and then pushes it back out to the cont containers and redeploys it, I mean. Um, so, 
uh, you can do that. Or if you update the Docker Compose and you don't want to repull the image again, you can just update right here. So uh, that's a little bit about the stack options in the Portainer. So now I'm going to go over the container options. So when you're inside the Firefox stack, I'm going to go come down to containers right here. I'm going to go into Big Bear Firefox. And then you'll see the con uh, container status right here. Logs, inspect, stats, console, attach. You can also see the actions up here. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, and duplicate slash edit. So you can come down here for access controls, uh, create image, uh, the container details like the image, the port configuration, and the host and the container port, um, the command, the entry point, the environment variables, and then the labels. And then you can also change the restart policy. So you can ch change it here and then press the update button right here. You can also see that it created a uh, Firefox stack default, a bridge network down here. So that's a little bit about the container options in Portainer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the UI. Um, so HTTPS and then the Portainer port, uh, Portainer's IP address, and then the port is 6901 on the host. So I'm going to uh, go to it. It's gonna say your connection is not private. I'm gonna say advanced, proceed. And then now this is where you put in your username and your password, so chasm, user, and then your password is Portainer, if you follow the Docker Compose. So I'm gonna say sign in. And now we have our Firefox up and running, and you can see that it defaulted to community.bigbrettechworld.com for the first uh, domain. So you can go come up here, and you can uh, go to Google. There you go. Um, you can also see the settings for it. So drag viewport, keys, clipboard, fill screen, game cursor mode, set settings, and then the keyboard shortcuts, stream quality, and then the advanced. And then you can also uh, go out here and disconnect completely from the uh, VNC. Then you can connect back up. So it's pretty cool. So uh, that's how to get Firefox running on Portainer using Chasm. And roll the bloopers. Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Firefox uh, with Ka uh, with Ka or with. Mm. Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Chasm uh, Firefox. So a little bit about this series, I'm going. Shoot. So I just went over everything to get you started with Firefox uh, running on Chasm with uh with 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 so i hope you enjoyed the bloopers and if you did make a comment down below and let me know if you uh want me to do some more of them at the end of the videos now from now on so uh video is not easy and uh i want to show i guess the behind the scenes parts so stay tuned for more so i just got you started with firefox on a uh, portainer uh, using chasm vnc so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.